Hey y'all, it's CJ from Smoky Beginnings, and today we're putting a creative spin on loaded cheese fries. Instead of fries, we're using tater tots, and instead of ground beef, we're using pulled pork. And we're going to be making a killer cheese sauce. So stick around, I'm gonna show you how to do everything. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Well, let's go. What you're gonna do is prepare the pork butt. I prefer to score the fat cap, and after you score the fat cap, go ahead and add your binder. After you add the, your binder, you can go ahead and then add your seasoning. After seasoning, let it sit for about 30 minutes. Now that you've got your smoker going and your pork butt resting, let's go ahead and make our cheese sauce. We're gonna add some butter to a saucepan that's over medium heat. After that, you're gonna add some flour. After that, you're gonna add some milk to thin out the sauce. After you thin the paste, you're gonna to wanna to add your cheese. And after you add the cheese, add salt, pepper, paprika, a little bit of hot sauce for that fiery kick. And now it's time to get our pork butt onto the smoker and let it go for a couple hours. Once the bar has set, we're gonna start spritzing and we're gonna do this every 30 minutes until we wrap. We're gonna wrap the pork butt as I reach the first goal, which is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Go ahead and wrap it in aluminum foil and then put it back on the smoker. At this point, it's pretty much hands off. We're not gonna really have to do anything to the smoker or this pork butt until we reach our internal temperature of 203 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that we've reached our internal temperature, go ahead and remove the pork butt from the smoker and then let it rest for about one to two hours. While we're waiting, that is the absolute perfect time to slice up our toppings, which are gonna be tomatoes, onions, green onions, and for a spicy kick, jalapenos. Then for a savory salty twist, we're gonna add some bacon. After you have all your toppings prepared, it's time to shred the pork. Once you have shred the pork, it's then time to go ahead and create this awesome masterpiece. Start with a bed of tater tots, add your cheese sauce, add your pulled pork, add your favorite toppings, don't forget that bacon, and then step back and admire your work. All that is left to do is to sit back and enjoy. I'm going to go in for first, seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, eighths, ninths, and trust me, there isn't going to be any leftovers. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and for more great recipes that you can smoke, like steaks, chickens, pork, ribs, pretty much anything, I have a video playlist this linked at the end that is all about making those great dishes right at home on your own smoker. Until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.